uh, here in this session let us try to understand the difference between uh, muscle glycogen and liver glycogen. I am Dr. Niranjan Koch. Let us go to the next slide. Now, uh, what is the role of muscle glycogen and what is the role of liver glycogen? Let us take let us take this green pen and write uh, let us first see in liver glycogen what happens to liver glycogen okay uh, during the process of glycogenolysis during the process of glycogenolysis glycogen is broken down into uh, glycogen plus glucose 1 phosphate glucose 1 phosphate by phosphorylase enzyme phosphorylase enzyme and this phosphorylase enzyme acts from the releasing end of the glycogen molecule and releases this glucose 1 phosphate molecule uh, till the it reaches near the branching point around 4 glucose residues away then the activity of this glycogen phosphorylase uh, becomes inactive and the debranching enzyme takes up the action therefore uh, during the process of glycogenolysis we get glucose 1-phosphate as well as some amount of free glucose from the branching point uh, now uh, majority of the glucose uh, glycogen is uh, released as a glucose one phosphate then this glucose one phosphate undergoes uh, uh, is converted to glucose six phosphate glucose six phosphate by phosphoglucomutase phosphoglucomutase enzyme into glucose six phosphate and this glucose six phosphate can now enter the uh, it can form free glucose free glucose by glucose 6 phosphatase enzyme by glucose 6 phosphatase enzyme and this will be used for maintaining blood glucose regulation maintaining blood glucose level blood blood glucose level level Uh, maintenance and it will be used by different tissues different DNA tissues of the body and what happened here in the liver uh, in the muscle in the muscle in the muscle uh, glycogen uh, similarly glycogen will broken down uh, and it will form glucose 6 phosphate it will form glucose 6 phosphate but in the muscle uh, this uh, glucose 6 phosphate phosphatase enzyme is not present in the muscle glucose 6 phosphatase so glucose glucose 6 phosphatase phosphatase I write in short this phosphatase enzyme is absent therefore this glucose 6 phosphate can be converted into free glucose so free glucose cannot be formed this is uh, this free glucose cannot be formed therefore this glucose 6 phosphate undergoes a glycolysis it undergoes glycolysis glycolysis to produce ATP uh, to supply ATP to the contracting muscles ATP or energy depend energy for the contracting muscles so this uh, muscle glycogen muscle glycogen cannot contribute cannot contribute to contribute to blood glucose regulation blood glucose regulation no contribution to no contribution to blood glucose regulation whereas this liver glycogen can uh, maintain blood glucose regul blood glucose level during the uh, during the uh, what do you call that 
in the post absorptive phase okay so that is the difference basically the difference is due to the absence of this glucose 6 phosphatase enzyme this is absent in muscles that's why the fate of glucose 6 phosphate in muscles is to just to give energy to the contracting muscles whereas the fate of glucose 6 phosphate in liver is to produce free glucose so that it can maintain blood glucose level and therefore the different needy tissues the body can utilize this glucose so muscle glycogen uh, no blood glucose regulation but liver glycogen blood glucose regulation thank you